not quite so agile as in his heyday, but Dennis Brooks certainly has lost none of his spark. There's one thing about batting. You only got tired when you made runs, but if you're a bowler, you got really tired without any success. The Yorkshireman moved to Northampton in 1933, where he started his first class career. That took him to test level. And what an illustrious career it was, spanning a quarter of a century. Overall, Dennis got 30,874 runs, 71 centuries and 152 half centuries. <laughs> It's twilight time. Even great players who've served the county don't come anywhere near to Dennis's record. His 28,980 runs for North Hants will surely never be beaten. Not many cricketers use the feet where, where Dennis Brooks did. Very good dancer. He got to the pitch of the ball and played spin. Excellent batsman. He probably would have come through with, with flying colours in today's cricket. The highlight was getting an England call-up to the Caribbean in 1947. Dennis was sent home when he hurt his finger and never got another chance. Well, what happened really, I was contemporary with two very, very fine opening batsmen in Len Hutton and Cyril Washbrook. And we were about the same age, so the opportunity never came. But even that failed to stop his success. As Northamptonshire captain, he was named Wisden Cricketer of the Year in 1957. And when he finally did decide to call it a day as a player in 1959, he went on to become coach, assistant secretary, treasurer and president. Whatever he's done for this club, uh, he's always handled himself in the, in the, in the best of manners, which um, I'm afraid that sometimes professional sportsmen these days in the modern game don't quite do that. Um, they could take a, you know, a big example from Dennis Brooks. Because he lives a stone's throw from the county ground, Dennis still comes here for every match come rain or shine, pops in every day for a cuppa, and even gives tips to professionals of today. He's not one of these guys that talks about the old days. He knows his cricket, he's a, a fount of knowledge, and he loves his cricket, and he's very useful to us. He can give us little insights into the way the things are going and the way the game is being played, and he's just a star for this county cricket club. He's so admired here that Dennis has his own tribute. Well, Lords have got W.G. Grace Gates and the Oval have got Jack Hobbs Gates and the county thought as an appreciation of my services to the club, they would name these gates after me. Together at last I hope to remember with, that I was a sportsman and uh, that I played the game to win, but in a sporting manner. Twilight time.